Hey everyone, welcome to another Line No Trains review. Today we're talking about the 3656 operating cattle car and platform. This was first introduced in 1949 and remained in the line until 1955. It was inspired from the success of the milk car. So Lino introduced another operating car with side attraction. Each set came with an operating car that has both doors that open up at the same time. A CTC lock-on. A Lionel control button. Box of cattle. A ramp. The crowd platform itself. And a pair of directions. As you can see, everything I mentioned is on the cover of the directions. Also came with some power blades and some wires. There's a couple different versions of this accessory. Mainly, mainly the car. The car was changed a couple times during the production run. So let's start with the first production. In 1949, Lionel came out with this car with black lettering. 1949 was the only year that this car has black lettering. All the other years have white lettering. In 1950, when the black lettering was removed, Lionel made this white version. It also came with an armor sticker. As you can see, the armor sticker is on both sides. It is usually found missing in today's market due to handling of the car or age. They're very hard to find with black lettering and also this version with the armor sticker. They add a premium. The third version in late 1950, 1951, the armor sticker was eliminated. There's also another version that the die cast metal door was changed to plastic. And the bar and trucks were replaced with staple and trucks. The last two versions are not really not really desired more. They're equally valued. The version with the armor sticker commands a little bit more money. And the version with the black lettering commands the most. That's the hardest one to find. The 3656 was a reliable operator when operating correctly. Sometimes it's finicky. Everything works on vibration. Sometimes the cattle gets stuck in between the stalls. Or the cattle gets stuck inside the car. Proper voltage also helps. And also sometimes polishing the base of the corral and car. Also, the cattle have feelers underneath. Which help the vibration to move forward. Make sure they're clean with no dust. As you can see here. This looks to be hardly used. In 1955, production ended. In 1956, was replaced by a 3356 Santa Fe operating horse car, which is a more reliable operator. When found today, the original box is losing missing its end flaps. Due to the weight of the corral and car. So to find a box with both ends and its character. Also, a pair of directions helps. This car is a little complicated to set up. As you can see, it goes page by page. Pretty cool artwork. Wow, look at that. Those are the tips, techniques. Lionel Corporation, Hillside, New Jersey. 
Printed the 11th slash 1949. Wow. Pretty cool piece of history here. Well, anyway, I hope I uh, talked about the variations to help you guys. If you're new into the hobby. And also, if you have any questions, comment down below. Anyway, thanks for watching. And have a good day.